Uh, it's the scissor bands RB10. Uh, this is a typical four seater that we produce, and um, and because we have built a lot of these, we have refined this product as well to a fixed uh, product, a little bit like a car manufacturer has um, the production runs. Although it has got the name production built, uh, it is still uh, very much a handcrafted in the fact that our fits and finishes are taken to the nth degree. Um, you can put anything together and make it look like an aeroplane, but we would like to make sure everything fits beautifully. For example, if I close this door and lock it, you will see the gaps around the door are very much perfect and uh, this takes a lot more time handcrafting than just a production aircraft would be. The bigger the gaps, the easier it is to fit, but the finer the gaps, the more handcrafting and hours it takes. So we've found a balance between handcrafting and production building because of the, we are very familiar with aeroplanes. So this is an RV7A. This one is already eight years old, has 2,700 hours on it. It was originally used in the flight school and it is a demonstrator. And uh, we keep it well maintained and she's an absolute pleasure to fly. We'll be taking out this morning for a uh, beautiful flight around Cape Town in this uh, lovely winter weather. It's nice and still, um, perfect for flying. It's quite nice to see an aeroplane that you can see under construction and one on the floor that is finished and see the comparison of how the two come together. See what we do in the, our place here is we adopt bays for the aeroplanes. So as I come in, they get uh, unpacked, they get uh, inventoried, and then they will stay in this bay um, right until the end, unless they move all to the paint shop for painting, and then they will come onto the floor and uh, be assembled and final checks, and then onto flight, onto the maintenance floor. Otherwise, they will stay here, and that way we have full uh, traceability of parts. Uh, nothing missing, you know, as okay. soon as we are moving projects along, that's when, you know, mm. you might have an issue with uh, uh, something getting lost in transition. Mm. Yeah. Should there be a part that fails and we can go back to that aeroplane, so when it was bought, we can go back to the manufacturer and say, this is when we got it from you. And they could even go back to their batches and sub suppliers and that if it's a very serious item that might have failed, but also just for their own feedback. We don't have really don't have much of that happening ever if it's anything it'll be absolutely minor and it's uh, needs you know for for the manufacturer's interest only but um, part of our CIA approvals is that we have full traceability we have tool traceability tool checks um, training programs you know there's a lot more into than just the building before we've even started building on the aircraft there's a lot of checks and balances that we have to have in place